In this video, we'll be learning about functions in GameMaker Studio 2. For starters, we've actually been using a function for the past three videos, and I touched lightly on what functions do already, but for this video we'll go more in depth and look at some more advanced functions. A function is basically a pre-made piece of code designed to make a process easier to repeat. Functions mean we don't need to constantly write out the same complex code every time we want to perform a seemingly basic task. GameMaker comes bundled with hundreds of functions ready for us to use however we see fit. The one we've used so far is show message. This function displays a simple Windows display box with a message that we define through the use of an argument. An argument is a piece of information that we give the function on execution in order to help it run correctly. Some arguments are optional, but most are required. For example, the string argument for show message is required. Without it, there is no message to display. Not all functions have arguments, but most do. An example of an extremely commonly used function with optional arguments is instance destroy. As we can probably guess, this function is used to destroy an instance. We'll come back to this function, as it's hard to see something be destroyed when we're yet to go over displaying something on the screen. We could of course link a sprite to an object, which would make it visible, but this video is about functions, so let's look at drawing things to the screen in code. Okay, so we of course need an open project in GameMaker Studio 2 and an object to work with. Now within the project, we need to add a draw event. There are a number of draw events, all executed in a specific order once per game frame. We just want the plain old draw event in this case. There are a large number of functions dedicated to drawing things on the screen. These functions must be executed in the draw event. Executing them in the step event will have no effect and you won't see anything on screen. Something extremely common to see in games is text. So let's take a look at drawing text on the screen. It all comes down to one function called draw text. This function does as it's named. It draws text. It requires three arguments, an x and y position to define where on the screen to draw the text, and a string, which is the text it would draw. So let's use it. We write draw underscore text and throw a set of braces at the end with a semicolon. Now between these braces we enter our arguments. We need an x position, which is the horizontal position on the screen in pixels. Zero is the far left side of the screen, so we need a value higher than this. Let's make use of an instance variable that is included in all instances even if we don't declare it. The x variable. The x variable holds the x position of the instance at all times and can be used to set the x position of an instance as well as return it which means all we need to do is type x, then a comma to separate this and the next argument. For the y, or vertical position, we can do the same thing, except we'll use the y variable, which is the same as x, except for the instance's y position. Finally, we enter another comma before the text we wish to draw. Let's make it draw a hello world to the screen. So we type a set of single or double quotes, and in between that, our text. Remember, this is called a string. So we now have a draw text function that will draw hello world at the x and y position of this instance. If the instance moves, so does the text. Let's try this out. We need to place this instance in a new room. Around the middle will do. Now we run the game. And there we have it. We've just used a function to draw text to the screen. Let's close the game and head back to the draw event. So we just drew text to the screen. What else can we draw? Well, GameMaker comes packed with a number of functions for rectangles, circles, triangles, points, or single pixels on the screen, and more. Everything we draw right now will be white though, so how do we change this? Well, GameMaker also has a number of functions and built-in macros to help us change colors, transparency, and text alignment. If we type draw underscore set and wait a second for GameMaker's code auto completion to show, we can see a number of functions available to us for these settings. All of these functions do as their names state, and they are all global in scope. What this means is if we set the color in this object, it will be changed for all other objects as well from that point. For this reason, it's good practice to always reset the color back to the default, white, after we run our draw functions. Let's use draw set color to change our text color as an example. So we go on a line above the text function, as code always runs in order from left to right and top to bottom. All we do is write draw underscore set underscore color, along with our braces to contain an argument and a semicolon on the end. Now we give it the color we want to set. To do this, we can either use a hex value, which we need to use the dollar sign prefix for, or we can also use a number of predefined color constants. We'll use the constants now. All we need to do is type C underscore, and we can see a list of available color constants. Let's go with red, so we end up with C underscore red. 
This will set the draw color to red. Then our draw text function will run and the text will be red. However, if any other text is drawn after this, it too will be red, even if we don't want it to be. To stop this, we need to set the color back to white after executing our draw text function. So we just use the draw set color function again, except set it to C white instead. This will set the color back to the default white color. Let's run the game. And as we can see, our text is now red. It's advised to play and experiment with this. For extra practice, why not try using some variables to input the text and positional numbers into the function? It's also advised to play around with other draw formatting functions such as alpha and font. Alpha sets the transparency of drawing, where zero is fully transparent or invisible, and one is fully opaque or solid. The draw set font function lets us tell our game to start drawing text using a font resource we can create in the resource tree. To set this back to default, we can enter negative one as the argument. Okay, now that we have something on the screen, we can see it disappear when it's destroyed. So let's take another look at destroying instances. Destroying instances is a super common thing in games, as the more resources there are in the game, the slower our game will run, and players might start to experience lag. So when we no longer need an instance, like a bullet for example, we can use instance destroy to remove it. Let's make it so that if we press space, the instance will get destroyed. For this, we need to add a key released event for the space key. This will execute every time we release the space key. Now we type instance underscore destroy, a set of braces, and a semicolon. Instance destroys arguments are actually optional. If we choose not to apply any, it will simply destroy the instance running the code. We still need our braces though. Functions always have braces, even if there aren't any arguments. If we wanted to, we could put an object name or specific instance ID to define another instance to destroy. If we put in an object name, it will destroy all instances of that object in the current room. We just want to destroy this one though, so we don't need to supply any arguments. Let's run the game and try it out. Okay, so we can see our text on the screen. Now we push and release space. And there it goes, no more instance, and therefore no more text. A useful piece of information is that when an instance is destroyed, it actually executes a destroy event. We can use this event to do something every time an object is set to be destroyed if necessary for our game. We can also use a second boolean argument in the instance destroy function to tell GameMaker not to execute this event should there ever be a time where we don't want to execute it. That's about it for functions. GameMaker comes with hundreds of functions. There are functions for drawing, destroying, creating, getting the distance from one point to another, getting the nearest instance ID to a position, checking for collisions, general math functions, and plenty more. For a list of all the functions and how to use them, we can press F1 to access the GameMaker Studio 2 manual. In this video, we took a deeper look at functions and their use. We learned how to draw things to the screen, do some basic formatting, and also how to destroy an object with a key press.